Hello and welcome to Switzerland with Ticket to Ride. First, a few facts and figures about this delightful, independently minded country, set in the heart of Europe, but not of the EU. Switzerland is 231 miles wide, from Geneva in the west to the Austrian Vorarlberg in the east, and 127 miles deep between Schaffhausen on the German border and Como on the Italian border. The country is alpine, with the highest mountain ranges in the south on the border with France and Italy, the highest Swiss peak being the Matterhorn at 4,478 metres. The country's land mass is 41,285 square kilometres, of which 4% is water. Most of this water is in the form of lakes. The largest of these are the Bodensee in the north and Lake Geneva in the southwest. Lake Geneva is, because of its depth, the largest body of water in Europe. Both of these lakes are shared with respective neighbours. The largest lake totally in Switzerland is Lac de Neuchâtel, with Lake Zurich a close second. The country's central location in Europe makes arrivals easy, with a wide range of choices. By air, the most common entry point is Zurich. The international airport, Flughafen, being just a few kilometres northeast of the city. From airport terminal to railway station is just a few steps. The trains serving the station are operated by the Schweizer Bundesbahn, the state-owned SBB, and are integrated into the airport system. It's just as easy to get to Constance or Geneva from here, for example, as it is simply to get to downtown Zurich. The other major airport is Geneva, the facility we shall use to start our tour. And there are airports at Bern, not much more than a grass strip, and Lugano. We must, of course, mention the possibility of rail arrivals. From the north, these are predominantly via Basel, where there are two major stations. The Badische Bahnhof, a through station and a German enclave within Switzerland, where trains run initially to Freiburg, Breisgau and Frankfurt with its international airport and thence to destinations across the Federal Republic. Trains from the Badische Bahnhof continue south and cross the Rhine to the other major station, the Schweizer Bahnhof. This is the main SBB station where trains originating to or from Germany must reverse before going forward to Zurich and other Swiss destinations. Trains from France also use this station. The SNCF have their own platforms at the north end and these are quite separate, with customs facilities and immigration control. There are good links here to the Alsace region of France, including Mulhouse and Strasbourg. There are also trains to Paris, although these are subject to alteration in 2007 as the RGV Ost, the new high-speed line to Paris, is opening soon. There are also rail entry points from the Austrian Vorarlberg, with services to Vienna running through Innsbruck. These trains and the trains to Munich enter Switzerland at St. Margareten or Bux and run to Zurich via St. Gallen or alongside Lake Zurich. There are two entry points for trains from Milan, both of which run over spectacular mountain lines. Geneva is the entry point for the TGV service that links the southwest of the country with Paris. 
and there are also TGV services from Bern to the French capital. In the north, Schaffhausen sees a connection between Zurich and Stuttgart using German ICT high-speed trains. This is our first travel guide to Switzerland and we will be touring two lakes in the west of the country, Lake Geneva and Lake Neuchâtel. That's why we have chosen Geneva Airport as our entry point. In comparison,